The F-15 Eagle is arguably America's premier jet fighter aircraft. Its design in the late 1970s was surrounded by Cold War propaganda, myth, and the legend of a revolutionary Soviet aircraft, the MiG-25. Hello and welcome to Side History. I have to admit that I have a little bit of a bias when it comes to the F-15. I served in the Air National Guard for some, let's just say a long time, and the F-15 is, in my mind, one of the best jet fighters ever built. It's been in service for 46 years and has an incredible track record. So in today's video, we're going to explore the story of how this legendary aircraft was built and how Cold War propaganda influenced its design. Also, if you enjoy the video and the channel content, please leave a like and subscribe. It really does help us out. The F-15 has an unprecedented combat record of 104 kills to zero losses. It has earned its remarkable reputation over multiple conflicts since the 1970s. Our story begins with the United States Air Force's FX competition. It was a nationwide competition among aircraft designers to build an aircraft that could demonstrate American air power during the height of the Vietnam War. The original manufacturer of the F-15 was McDonnell Douglas. They started the F-15 concept program in 1967 during the Cold War, when it was selected to enter the second phase of the U.S. Air Force's FX competition. The twin-engine all-weather aircraft was built for a specific mission, air superiority. With a top speed of Mach 2.5, it was definitely fast, and its massive wing surface made it extremely maneuverable. In addition to being fast and maneuverable, the F-15 was armed to be lethal in the air. Its primary weapons are the AIM-9 Sidewinders and the AIM-7 Sparrow air-to-air -air missiles. All this is backed up with a 20mm Gatlin gun capable of firing 6,000 shots per minute. The surprising thing about the F-15's history is that all of this may not have happened if not for a revolutionary Soviet aircraft and the Cold War propaganda surrounding its operation. The Soviet MiG-25 was designed to counter America's supersonic, nuclear-capable bomber, the B-25 Hustler. When news of America's efforts in the field to even make a faster Mach 3 capable bomber, the XB-70 Valkyrie, reached the Kremlin, the need for a high-speed interceptor became even more pressing for the Soviets. Although the Valkyrie never saw service, by the time it was canceled in 1961, the Soviets had already begun work on a solution. The West first saw the MiG-25 at the October Revolution Air Show in 1967. Three prototypes were captured during the last 10 minutes of the air show. They had large wings indicating good maneuverability, large engines indicating good speed, and the fact that the aircraft looked very similar to the American FX fighter program, the F-15 concept, it worried the Americans. The mystery Soviet plane was the MiG-25 and given the NATO code name Foxbat. The Soviet Union began breaking airspeed and altitude records with a new MiG-25 because its speed and operational altitude outclassed anything the Western Allies had their reaction has been termed the Foxbat Scare. As details emerged on the streamlined twin-tail aircraft, it turned out that it was massive. It had oversized air intakes that fed large afterburner-equipped turbojet engines. The large wings had nearly 661 square feet of surface area. Western analysts concluded that the new MiG-25 was not only fast, but highly maneuverable. Before the MiG-25 took flight in 1967, American planners were researching lightweight aircraft designs that could outperform the light and maneuverable MiG-21. The appearance of the MiG-25 influenced the engineers and strategic planners at the Pentagon. Instead of a light, nimble aircraft, they now favored a heavier, more powerful FX fighter design. This heavier FX platform led directly to the development of the F-15 Eagle. What American experts thought the MiG-25 was capable of influenced the design of the F-15. It had to match the Soviet jet fighter in terms of speed, maneuverability, and weapons payload. The first F-15 took flight on July 27, 1972, and although it was a very promising platform, it seemed incapable of defeating the MiG-25 at first. The speed of the Soviet superjet was Mach 3.2, and with a theoretical ceiling of 89,000 feet, the McDonnell Douglas's new twin-engine fighter could only reach Mach 2.5 and altitudes of 65,000 feet. 
In 1971, the Soviets deployed the MiG-25 with the Egyptian Air Force. The Soviet MiG-25s were conducting high-speed reconnaissance when the Israeli radar tracked them at 80,000 feet, traveling at an astonishing Mach 3.2. This placed them far above the range and speed of the Israeli F-4 Phantoms. As a result, the Israelis were unable to counter the MiG-25 overflights throughout the conflict. This and other incidents put the Western Allies on edge for years over the MiG-25 threat. All of this came to an end when a rogue pilot blew the doors off the MiG-25's reputation. On September 6, 1976, 300 miles west of Japan, a flight of Soviet Air Force's MiG-25s took off for a training mission from southwest Russia. 29-year-old Flight Lieutenant Viktor Ivanovich Polinko was one of the pilots flying that day. After becoming disillusioned with Soviet society, he had decided to defect with a 7-month-old MiG-25 interceptor. He entered Japanese airspace and found the closest suitable runway available. After crash landing the aircraft, Polinko immediately requested asylum in the United States. The Japanese immediately impounded the aircraft and alerted their allies. Belinka was questioned and the aircraft was thoroughly examined for weeks. Gradually, the real story of the Foxbat began to emerge. The MiG-25 was not the maneuverable, versatile fighter that had distressed NATO for nearly a decade. The engines used in the MiG-25 were Tremansky R-15 turbojet engines intended for the Tupolev Tu-121 cruise missile. They were powerful but only rated for 150 hours of operation because the Soviets used steel instead of titanium in their design, exceeding Mach 2.8 resulted in serious damage to the engine. Once Western engineers had a MiG-25 to examine and a Soviet pilot to question, it became clear that the aircraft's large wings were not for maneuverability at all. Instead, the MiG-25's massive wings were designed to support the plane's oversized 15-ton engines. The experts examining the MiG-25 also determined that its design was purpose-built for quickly intercepting Western bombers and not dogfighting. The airplane's design actually limited its mobility. This, combined with the aging avionics and radar, meant that it could not compete with the F-15 in a one-on-one -on -one dogfight. The design goals of the F-15 program was to beat or match the MiG-25's capabilities. Although not as powerful as the MiG-25, its high thrust-to-weight ratio eventually exceeded 1 to 1. This allowed it to be extremely aerobatic without sacrificing speed during a turn. In fact, the McDonnell Douglas F-15 was so powerful that it could accelerate while flying straight up in the air like a rocket. Although it could not reach Mach 3, the F-15's ability to combine speed and maneuverability gave it the power needed to emerge victorious in air-to-air -air combat. You could argue that one aircraft was not really superior to the other, because they were designed for different purposes. The MiG-25 was designed to use its high speed to intercept bombers, while the F-15 was designed for hunting other fighters to achieve air superiority. The MiG-25 was really good at what it was designed to do, intercept bombers. The requirement to intercept bombers waned with the improvements of ballistic missile technology, and the mission behind the MiG-25 program did as well. With cheaper aircraft like the MiG-21 and better aircraft like the MiG-29, the MiG-25 was caught in an odd position, and it was left behind as a relic of Cold War aviation. For its part, the F-15 Eagle continues to operate to this day and has been modified and upgraded since the F-15 program began in the late 1960s. It is an interesting historical anecdote that the deception, the secrecy, and the propaganda surrounding the MiG-25 is what created the ultimate air superiority fighter, the F-15 Eagle. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any stories you'd like to share on the F-15 or your experiences during the Cold War, please feel free to leave a comment below.